You're right, Pardeep. Those are the words that came out of my mouth. You're absolutely correct. You took them the wrong way, but you are absolutely correct. That is the words that came out of my mouth. Okay. So, um, students often tell me that word problems are very difficult for them. I submit that they are not. I submit that they are difficult because you don't have a strategy for approaching them. You read the whole problem and you're like, ah, it's too much. But if you break it down, it's pretty simple. First of all, when you're doing a word problem, you're trying to find an answer, right? Now let me ask you this. In a word problem, is the answer going to be something like uh, the defenestration of Prague? No, it's not. Why? Because that's got nothing to do with numbers. Yeah? So the argument I'm trying to make is when you people read a word problem, you get inundated with, uh, I, I don't even know what I'm doing, because you haven't taken a second to decide what it is that you are looking for. If you know what you are looking for, it becomes easy to find it. Yes? So that is the first step. Identify what you are looking for. Oh, thank you. Identify what you are looking for. And then, and this is the step that my grade 10 teacher made us do, but it's become a step that a lot of teachers don't like doing because it feels like we're being mean to you. Kind of like making you memorize your times tables, which everybody says was a mean thing that was done to kids when I was your age, except for the fact that we can all do math. So maybe it's something that should have been done to you too. But it wasn't, so we'll move on. This step right here. Write let statements to identify your variables accordingly. Now, what is a variable? And don't say X, because some of you wanted to. One definition is what, Brayden? An unknown. Is there another definition that anyone has? That's what everybody's happy with, an unknown? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll stick with that one. I'm cool with that. So step one is to identify what you're looking for. We are only going to identify what we are looking for right now. We are going to do it four times because there's four problems here. In the first problem, this is a math class problem, yes? This is useless in the real world. You are not trying to decide how much money you can spend at the theater to take your girlfriend, boyfriend, dog friend out for a date. This is not something like that. This is an idiotic math problem, yes? And that math problem, many of you have already been taught some funky way to find these two numbers. The wrong thing with that is that's a shortcut. And if you're taught that shortcut to solve this problem, you've been given the tool to solve this exact problem, yes? But that is not a problem that is in the real world. Whereas I plan to teach you the math you need to do to that problem, which will then allow you to go out into the real world and solve actual problems, okay? So let's do that. Number one, first thing I say for you to do is identify what I am looking for. What am I trying to find in question one? No. No, 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 no. Read the whole thing. Thank you. Addison, what were you going to say? No. Braden, what is it? Braden S? I'm trying to find two numbers, aren't I? So I have how many unknowns? Two unknowns, because there are two numbers, yes? So I'm trying to find number... Oh, number one... And I'm trying to find number two, yes? yes? That's what I'm trying to find. Those are my two unknowns, agreed? Okay, now we're going to go on to the second one. We're doing this in a weird way. Read the second question. What am I trying to find? Price of each item, yes? So I need the price of a chocolate bar, and I'm lazy, so I'm going to write bar, and a price, not a rice, a price of a pop. That's what I'm trying to find. Go to number three on the next page. What am I trying to find? I'm trying to find the start fee and the monthly fee. Those are my two unknowns. And finally, this one, four always messes kids up. What am I trying to find? So, I have investment one 
and investment too. Does everyone agree? Was any of that difficult? Did you have to know anything to do that? All you had to do is know how to read, right? Excellent. Now, what is the rest of number one? It says write let statements to identify your variables. Can I, if I'm going to do math with unknowns, we like to have variables, yes? Okay, so if this is an unknown, it needs a variable. What variable do we like to use? X. So let X equal number one. Now, when I was your age, my teacher made us write this out as a full sentence. Let the variable X equal the first number. Am I that guy? No. So if X is number one, is number two the same number? So can I give it the same variable? No. So what must I give it? Another variable. You all want to use Y. Let Y equal number two. Now go do that three more times. I'm mixing it up. I used B and P for bar and pop. Okay. Could you use X and Y? Could you use Q and Z? Could you use lightning bolt and peace sign? Would it matter? No. I used F for the startup fee and M for the monthly fee. Would it matter if you used X and Y? No. And lastly, let, I'm going to choose crazy letters now, letters you would never choose. Let, I was going to thinking about W. Let W equal investment one and let U. UVW equal investment two. Now, are we all happy? Do we know what we are looking for now? Yeah. Now, what do we need to have before we can find a value of a variable? We need an equation. That's the next thing I say to do. That's green again, silly boy. Write two equations. Why do I need two equations? Because I have two variables. How many equations would I need if I had three variables? Look at you applying logic. How many variables would I need if I had 17? Oh, I just screwed that up. How many equations would I need if I had 17 variables? 17. Excellent. Now, Often, each sentence produces one equation. Now, ladies and gentlemen, how many options do I have in math to write an equation? What are the only four things I can do at your level? Add, subtract, multiply, divide. That's it. So, what do we know from the first sentence of this question. What of my four options is that? Addition. So X plus Y equals what? Now let's read the next sentence and I will use a different shade of red. What does that one say? So... What's difference? X minus Y equals what? 48. And all of a sudden, I have a system that I know how to solve. Let's go to the next question. 
four chocolate bars and three pops cost $5.30. Well, one B is one chocolate bar. How many chocolate bars do I have? What math takes one and makes it four? Multiplication. Four B's plus three P equals 5.3. Do I need the zero? You're all going to do it anyway. You're going to put it in your calculator. If I had a nickel for every time I saw a kid put an unnecessary zero in their calculator, I could quit this job. Would you? No, because I like my job. And that's one sentence. What's the other sentence? 2B plus 1P. And lo and behold, I have a system. Turn the page over. Read the first sentence that talks to me about the fees. Does the first sentence talk to me about anything to do with fees? No, it just tells me that there's two of them, which we've already dealt with. Right? Where's my little blue dot or my little red dot? Okay, so what's the next sentence? Because the first sentence doesn't tell us anything. What's the next sentence? After one month, Jen's paid $260. How many start-up fees does one pay? One, because you pay it when you start so one startup fee plus how many months? One month equaled how much money? After six months, how many startup fees does one pay? One plus how many months? Six times equals 435. Oh, doggy. And last, he invested $2,000. How much money did he have when he started? 2,000 bucks. So he took that 2,000 bucks and he put some of it in one investment and some of it in the other investment. So what do I write? It could be division, right? He did 2,000 and divided it between two things, yes? Okay, so in my hand, I have, I dropped it, I have two, four, six, eight, ten die. Yes? Everybody cool? Put your hand out, Brody. In Brody's hand, I am putting some dice. You don't know how many. Close your hand. In Maggie's hand, I'm putting some dice. Don't look. Close your hand. How many dice does he have? Seven unknown. Unknown. How many dice does she have? Three. Unknown. How many dice do they have together? Ten. Ten. So what's the equation? X plus Y equals 10. So, it was 7 and 3. So, if X plus Y equals 10 in the dice, what do I have here? What is W plus U? 2,000. Right? Now, 8%. How do I do 8%? Right, so 0 0.08 of one of them, does it matter which one? No, W plus, what's 10? 0 0.10, right? U equals, how much money did he make? Read the question. 190. Now, do you have three systems? 
Uh, I'm sorry, four systems. Because we've done four questions, yes? No. Was any of that difficult? Decide what you're looking for, make them variables, and do one of four kinds of math. Solve them. Go. That's your job for the rest of today. Finish those four. Remember, what's the one we're not going to use? Graphing, right? So remember, use your heads, right? One of them, they both work equally well, but usually one of them works better with the question you have. Now, looking at that very first one, what's the easiest one to do? I would eliminate because y minus y right there, right? I would eliminate. That's just me, right? So let's go. Am I going to add or subtract them? So what's x plus x? 2x equals y is to spear. What's 176 plus 48? Pardon me? We're adding them, dude. That's okay. 6 and 8 is 14. Carry the 1. 8 and 4 is 12. Carry the 1. 224. What's x? Right? And then what do I do with that X? Put it where? Any X I have anywhere on the page except that one. Because I already know that one's 112. I need to find Y. So I have to put it somewhere where there's an X and a Y. And what is the answer? I'll let you work that out. You can tell me in a sec. When I was a kid, sure. What was the answer here? Sixty-four. All right. Now. This one kind of makes elimination a little bit yucky, yeah? Why? Because of the decimal and you'd have to multiply. But P is all by itself, isn't it? So isn't P 2.2 minus 2B? And then you'd have to use substitution. But mostly you're going to have to use your calculator because of the decimals, right? Is that okay? I won't even mock you. Because there's decimals. Decimals are no fun. What's better than decimals? Fractions. But none of you believe me, so you won't use it. So you'll keep doing decimals. So where do I need to put that P now? Can I put it into the red one? They both look red. Can I put it into the blue one or the yellow one? <laughs> you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Which is it? Where do I got to put that P? In the blue one. So let's do it. 4B plus 3. Is it P? What is it? 2.2 minus 2B equals 5.3. Is it 2B or is it not 2B? <laughs> you knew that was coming. 6.6 minus 6B equals 5.3. 4 minus 6 is negative 2B plus 6.6 .6 equals 5.3. Negative 2B equals, what's 5.3 minus 6.6? .6? Negative 1.3. So what is B? 
One point three over two, which is point six five. And you can see how old I am because chocolate bars were sixty five cents when I made this list. Now, now that we know what a pop is, or a chocolate bar, I mean, 0.65, how do I find what the pop is? Where should I go? Should I go blue, yellow, or pink? Why pink? Because I want the P, right? So if I go to there, I'll be in good shape. P equals 2.2 minus 2 times 0.65 which is 2.2 minus, we know 2.6, 2 times 0.65 is 1.3. 2.2 minus 1.3 we know is 0 0.90. So how much is a pop? 0 0.90. Now, why am I going so fast? Because do you really need practice with the arithmetic? Right, you guys can do algebra. I know you feel you can't, but you can, right? No matter what. What's the hard part on this page? The hard part on this page is the middle part when you set up the system, right? The rest of it is just algebra. So let's turn the page over. I would like to be a little quieter. What are you going to use here? Elimination? Substitution? Or are they both pretty equal on this one? They're pretty equal, aren't they? If you wanted to do elimination, couldn't you just subtract? F minus F would be zero, wouldn't it? So what's m minus 6m? Negative 5m. And what is 260 minus 435? Probably have to go to your calculator for that. That's okay. No shame. Negative 175? So now how do I find m? I divide by 5, negative 5, and what is it? Okay, slacker. Negative 35. How can I pay a negative monthly fee? The gym's going to pay me to go there? They want this on their posters? I don't think so. Not many people would go to the gym if on the big poster outside was me in a Speedo. Would they? Oh, if I go to that gym, I'll look like that guy. Here, take my money. Make it rain. So what's the fee? <laughs> really hope what? <laughs> what's the fee, Gersa Hill? 35. Now what do I do with that M? Should I put it in the pink one or should I put it in the blue one? Pink one because there's only one. It's easy. F plus 35 equals 260. F equals what? 225. How much did I pay to start up? 225. And that's the only thing I really cared about, wasn't it? Yes. All right. Now, what makes the bottom one difficult? The decimals make it yucky, right? Is there something we can do to an equation that keeps the values the same? What would I multiply this by? 10? 100. 100. Because I got two decimal places, yes? So what does this become if I multiply by 100? 8. 8W. What does this become? 10. 10U. What does 190 become? 19,000. Because I need two zeros, Yes. And W plus U equal 2,000. Now, which way are we going to go? It's about the same again, isn't it? To go substitution or elimination. We just did elimination where we had to multiply, right? So let's do substitution this time. Where would I do my substitution? Would I do it with the yellow one or with the green one? Why would I use the green one? Because they're already ones, aren't they? Yeah. Do you want to find W or U, Pardeep? Because you're right on top of this today. W or U, your choice. W. W. What's W? I don't even know what that is. I know he did because I say W. I say W because of George W. Bush. And that was his nickname, W. And he was an idiot. So I like saying W. 
Same reason I say Edmonton. When it's Edmonton. But people from Edmonton say Edmonton. Just like people say badminton. It's badminton. And Arctic. 55. 55. 50. Yeah, 50. So I don't like it when people say things not right. It bugs me. So why do you say Because it calls attention to it. Doesn't it sound stupid when I talk that way? Yeah, but maybe it bugs other people when you do that. But I don't care. If it bugs you guys when I talk that way and you stop talking that way because you realize how stupid it sounds. But no, you've got it all wrong. I want you people to speak properly. The only way you will speak properly is if you hear how dumb it sounds to not speak properly. Yes, but we don't care. Stop talking properly. You should stop talking properly. So you honestly feel that if I pronounce everything right, you guys will just all of a sudden stop talking like a bunch of clowns. The only people you're going to bother by doing that are the people who don't do it. I don't think the people that already do it are going to be bothered by you doing it too. Hmm. All right. I'll take that under advisement. So what does this become? It's a two. Sevens have a cross like they always do. You... Oh, no. Pardeep wanted to find double U. Double U equals 2,000 what? Minus single U. All right. So now what do we have to do with this equation that equals double U? Where should I put it? Somewhere else I see a double U. Where else do I see a W? Is another W in the yellow equation? Do you see a W in that equation? Is there a W to be found in which I can substitute in this new equation, which equals W? Yes? You have I don't know what you're speaking of. I am only doing exactly what you people ask. You don't want to hear W, so I am only saying W. Furio, is it bathroom time? Um, how much are you drinking with you, <laughs> Yeah, I like that. All right, so he said, how much have I been drinking to see double you? Because if you drink a lot, people say you see double. Maybe. I don't know. Although one time I was at a cop thing where they had these goggles. Have you seen these? That make it look like you're supposed to look, things look when you're drunk. It was a neat thing. Um, anyways. All right. So where is this W going now? With the other W, which is up here with 8. 8, 2,000 minus U. Oops, not equals. Plus 10U equals 19,000. 16,000 minus 8U plus 10U equals 19,000. 2U plus 16,000 equals 19,000. 2U equals 3,000. What does 1U equal? 1,500. So 1,500 is the U. So is that the 10% or the 8%? That is the 10% investment. So you got 1,500 at 10%. And what then did investment one give get? 500 at 8%. Does everyone see how easy word problems are? Do the words, most of the words, matter at all? No, they are there to obfuscate. Yes, they are there to obfuscate the steps you should take to solve the problem. So seek the sentences and the words near what? Where in this problem do you seek the 
Words near the numbers. Goodbye. Work on page whatever that is. 188. Work on that. And I'll see you tomorrow. Two more row, which is spelt with a W at the end of it. Have good days. <laughs>